Hello, it's me, and welcome to this video. In this video that you are about to watch, I am highlighting what it is like to rescue and transport and foster, kind of? I held up to the rats for a couple days afterwards, but I wouldn't really call that fostering. That's just making sure they're safe until I finish the transport. So basically what happened was this lady got fired from COVID, not from COVID, but because of COVID, due to COVID, and she could no longer live where she was living, which was Portland, Oregon. So she had to make the difficult decision to move back home to Nashville, Tennessee. With her, she had her daughter and her two dogs. She couldn't take both dogs. How do we have one of the dogs? This is, I, 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 I can't verify any of this because it's just what she said and I'm going to trust her on that. So she had these two little naked hairless rats and she needed to do something with them because she was driving a U-Haul with literally everything she owned, had no room in the cab because her and her daughter and her dog would be in the cab and I don't know what else they had up there, you know, I just, it's not my place to ask or judge. So she was desperately, desperately trying to find a home for them and... She was getting kind of desperate and was going to take him to the Humane Society. I don't know anything about the Oregon Humane Society or Portland Humane Society. I don't know anything about Portland. Other than they keep things weird and I'm going to live there one day. Always have and maybe someday I will. So I drove there from Tacoma, Washington and then I took them up to Everett, Washington where the rescue was and yeah, this is just, it's a lot of fucking driving. It's, it's literally just driving and even more driving but we were finally there this is us in portland <laughs> me i don't know who us is um but yeah so this is it we're here for the naked rats dude Thank you.